Every single successful person I've ever met in my life, ever, had this one trait. That one trait is that they choose to lead a proactive life instead of just reacting to life. When I first came across this concept of living a proactive life, it was a little unapproachable. It was a little ambiguous. I didn't quite know what to do with it. But when I did figure it out, when I did figure out how to shift from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset, everything changed. In this video, by the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the three steps that you can follow to actually switch to a proactive mindset. And if you watch till the end, I'll give you a bonus tip that I follow every single day to stay proactive in my life. Intro. What's up everybody, welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, author of the book, How to Punch the Sunday Jitters in the Face, entrepreneur and angel investor. On this channel, I help you become unstoppable in your life and your business by practicing belief and discipline. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I bring you a video like this on how to become unstoppable every single Sunday. I'm now gonna walk you through my three steps on how you can switch from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset. If you stay till the end, I'll give you a bonus tip on how you can practice it every single day. These three things have completely changed my life and have brought over a decade of unparalleled success and productivity for me. Step number one to shifting from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset is to take control of your calendar. I know this sounds overly simplistic, but let me give you a stat. A recent study that was done, they analyzed 19 million meetings, 6,500 people were surveyed, and they found that there are so many useless meetings that happen in the work week, in the US alone, $399 billion is lost out of the economy because of useless meetings. And so step number one in shifting from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset is to own your calendar. Your calendar, if you let it, will become something where everyone else can set the priority for you. They'll invite you to a billion useless meetings. They'll set the agenda for how you're gonna spend the next seven days. Unless, unless you spend 30 minutes every single Sunday to look at your calendar, to think about what your top three priorities are and say, all right, if I keep these meetings, will I accomplish those priorities or will I just accomplish someone else's priorities? And how do I say no to the things that are useless, say yes to the things that are important to me, and most importantly, create blocks in the calendar where I can work on my own priorities. So step number one is to own your calendar because otherwise other people are going to be setting the agenda for you and you're gonna be, guess what? Reacting to your calendar. Once you've taken control of your calendar, which is like the, the most important thing, your calendar dictates your priorities. I'll, let me take a look at your calendar and I'll tell you what your priorities are. It doesn't matter what you think they are, your calendar reflects your priorities. That's because that's how you're spending your time. The second thing you have to take control of is you have to take control of the notifications on your phone. Get this, a recent research study shows that the average person in the US looks at their phone every 12 minutes. So every 12 minutes, they'll be working on something, they're trying to get something done, and then boom, what happens? You get a little notification on your phone, you pick it up, you look at it, you go into Facebook, you look at Twitter, you're scrolling through the feed, and all of a sudden you're looking at the feed, and it's been five minutes, and you're like, wait, why am I looking at the feed? I was working on this other thing, how did this even, and you lose time. If you add it all up, that's nearly 80 times a day that you're just staring at your phone, picking up your phone, instead of focusing on what's important. One of the most life-changing things that I did is I actually went into my phone and changed the settings for my notifications. I turned off notifications for the majority of items, except for like phone calls on, the, on a VIP list of people that are super important to me. Everything else, I will check the phone when it's necessary, and that has dramatically reduced the number of times I get interrupted in the day, and which makes me react to what the phone tells me to do instead of switching to a proactive mindset and deciding on how I want to spend my time. So step one, get control of your calendar because that dictates your priorities. Step two, get rid of the notifications on your phone so that you don't check it every 12 minutes. Let me just pause here for a second. You might be thinking, wow, these are pretty simple, right? They are simple. They're not that complicated. You don't need to go read a book or buy some course to change some limiting belief to make these changes in your life. It's actually that easy. So if you're kind of thinking like, wow, all I need to do is take control of my calendar, spend every Sunday to make sure I have my three priorities and prioritize the right things and do some work blocks and turn off the notifications on my phone, will that really shift me from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset? 
Of course it will. Not only will it do that, you will actually own your time. And we're just two steps in, I've got two more to go. With these two steps alone that you can control, you can actually shift to a proactive mindset and own your time. If that makes sense, if that gets you excited, can I just get in the comments, just write, I will own my time. I will own my time. I wanna hear it from you. I want everyone else to see that you're committing to this. Now on to step three. Something magical happens when you do these two steps. You take control of your calendar, you prioritize the most important things every Sunday, and you go into your week and you actually stay focused because you're not constantly checking your phone every 12 minutes. It's something interesting that happens. You start to become more proactive. And it's kind of like going to the gym every week. You go for a few weeks, you lift the five pound dumbbells, and then all of a sudden, you're kind of like, wait, I can do more, I can lift more, I can take on a bigger challenge. And that's where step number three comes in. Step number three is you wanna to start to build your life plan. The third step is to actually say, you know what, I've got my week in control. I'm not checking my phone every 12 minutes. My calendar, every meeting I'm going to is important. I've got work blocks scheduled in to prioritize the things that are important to me. Now, I wanna take a really strong view of where I'm going. And building a life plan, building a proactive life plan, the right way means you take control over the next 365 days. You figure out what you're gonna spend time on, you figure out what your goals are, and then you define a five-year vision for yourself. When you start to do these things, instead of just reacting to whatever opportunity comes your way, you start to think about what do you want. I did a video before about how I created a 10-year vision for myself, and I checked in on that vision in this video 10 years later and showed you how much I actually accomplished. It was insane, so be sure to check out that video. When you actually spend time creating a life plan for yourself and actually setting an agenda for your life, that's the final piece in actually moving from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset, and it's friggin' incredible. So to recap, number one, take control of your calendar. Number two, shut off the notifications on your phone so you're not checking in every 12 minutes and you actually own your time. And number three, build a proactive life plan. Now you know the three simple steps that you can follow to shift from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset. It's no longer unapproachable, no longer ambiguous. It's actually pretty simple, isn't it? So you know the steps to follow, but what if you actually wanna build a life plan? What are the components of it? How do you build it properly? Staring at a blank piece of paper and answering, where do I wanna be five years? So it's really hard, which is why I created my proactive life planning guide. My proactive life planning guide actually shows you step-by-step step exactly how to build out your life plan. If you're interested in that, follow the link below. It's completely free. It's been downloaded over 5,000 times by members of our community, and it's what my book is based off of as well. So I'm super excited to get that to you. Follow that link to actually start to build out that life plan for yourself. Once you do that, you become unstoppable. I've done it myself, and it's been incredible. Now, I did promise you a bonus tip, and I didn't forget. And the last tip that I wanted to show you is this thing that I do every single day to be more proactive. When I wake up in the morning, I take an index card, and you obviously can tell I freaking love my index cards, and I just write down the two to three things, maybe four, four max, things that I wanna do that day. This is not overly complicated, it's just like, all right, what's my hit list for the day? And I just carry it with me, and that way, every single moment I'm in a meeting or I'm going to something and I'm trying to make a trade-off decision on what to focus on, I know exactly whether I'm gonna make my hit list for the day or not. Will I have a successful day or not? At the end of the day, I can look at this, I can feel good because I crossed off the three most important things I wanted to get done for the day. If you wanna more, learn more about this technique, be sure to check out this video where I explain it more. So that concludes how you can shift from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It means a lot to us. If you have a friend that wants to live a more proactive life, just like you do, then be sure to share this video with them. I also bring you a video every single Sunday with actionable, simple tips like this that helps you accomplish more, get focused, and become unstoppable in your life and in your business. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't done so already. And lastly, if this video was helpful, hit me up in the comments and say yes, because I wanna know that you're gonna be living a more proactive life. If you have questions about this, be sure to hit me up on Instagram. My, my username is at TKKater. I respond to every single DM myself. And remember, most importantly, everyone needs a strategy for their life, but yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, this has been an Unstoppable Sunday. I'll see you next week.